All right, good afternoon. Jakari Young, Chief of Police. And the purpose for this afternoon's press conference is to update everybody on our most recent homicide. So I'm sure all of you are aware that back on June 23rd at approximately 1.55 a.m., uh, Daytona Beach Police Department responded to the intersection of Oak Tree Circle and Forest Glen Boulevard in reference to shots fired. Upon arrival, we located our victim who had been shot multiple times laying on the sidewalk at that intersection. Uh, my victim is a Teelan man. He is a black male, date of birth 85 of 2002. Uh, when we initially responded, we didn't have much as far as suspect information, but I am pleased to report that after over 120 hours of follow-up investigation, that we had made an arrest in reference to this homicide. So I am extremely proud of my investigators and I am not shy about telling you that I have the best in the business. They are second to none. They literally poured in over 120 man hours of pouring over surveillance video where they were able to locate the suspect and track him from that scene to the scene that we ultimately took him into custody. So when I say multiple, multiple surveillance video, I'm talking surveillance video from businesses. I'm talking surveillance video from residences. I'm talking ring camera footage. I'm talking surveillance video from Bethune-Cookman University and just the, the perseverance to be able to sit there and go through hours and hours and hours of surveillance footage to be able to track the suspect who left on foot from the crime scene or from the scene of the incident to the scene that he was arrested over on Garden Street is phenomenal. Uh, my heart goes out to the family of our victim. Unfortunately, they could not be here today, but they did give me a brief statement that I want to read. On behalf of the family of Thielen Mann, we truly appreciate all the hard work and dedication your team has done to catch the person behind this. Uh, thank you to all who helped and supported our family through this tough time and heartache and journey. Now that we have justice, we have peace and we can lay our, our beloved Thielen to rest. So again, our suspect is now in custody. His name is Jakari Webb. He is a black male, date of birth 830 of 2002. Uh, from what we've been able to ascertain, um, our victim is an openly gay male, was an openly gay male who was engaged in a online relationship with the suspect. They ended up meeting at that location on June 23rd and the suspect ends up shooting and killing my victim and then fleeing on foot. Based on what we're able to ascertain, the, the suspect had some concern that he was gonna be outed by our victim as far as his, his sexual preference, so to say. So that's what we were able to gather so far as far as our motive for our shooting. So the suspect is being charged with first degree murder and there are discussions with the state attorney's office as far as possibly tacking on a hate crime charge for what he did to the victim. But again, I would be remiss if I didn't circle back and highlight the phenomenal work of these investigators. And this, these are the folks that you see standing up here to my right and my deputy chief up here to my left. Um, it's important that I just put, give the credit where the credit is due. I myself was out of town on the 23rd, so they kept me updated. But I wanna again thank the deputy chief, Captain Williams and his team that are standing up here for uh, their investigative efforts because they are truly the definition of what we call relentless follow-up. And again, this highlights the importance of technology, especially through surveillance video and just being able to track that suspect from one location to the other and put this thing together based on what we saw through social media was just phenomenal. And I couldn't be prouder of that team, of this team. Again, there's nothing we can do to bring back our victim. My heart goes out to the family, but just the way these guys pulled together and was able to track this suspect down and get him into custody is again, phenomenal.
And at this time, I will open it up for any questions you all may have.